All right, come on, because I'm back. I'm going to show you all today how I make some sun-dried tomato chicken and shrimp fettuccine. Now, look, you see everything on the damn screen, right? You're going to need some olive oil, parsley. You're going to need some black peppercorn, the caramelized onion batter, cayenne pepper, Goya, the red top, four chicken cutlets. I'm going to be using fettuccine pasta. You're going to need two jars of the creamy basil Alfredo, one jar of the regular Alfredo, some shrimp, some sun-dried tomatoes, some shrimp, and four cheese blend or whatever you got. You see that? You see that? Don't y'all ask me for no damn ingredient list. Come on. All right, so first things first, I want you guys to take your chicken cutlets. I have four of them here. These came in already in a pack, like those Purdue packs. If you don't have that, just get a chicken breast, cut them in half, get two of them, you'll end up with four. Let's go, common sense. I'm gonna cut these into thin strips. I don't want them to be too thick. And for everyone that is concerned, yes, I am aware that I'm cutting this meat on a wood cutting board. I purposely have separate cutting boards for separate things so that I never have to really concern myself with cross-contamination. I'm gonna continue to slice these up. You guys can slice them as big or as you know as small as you want you can make them in cubes i like to do mine in strips if you want you could also leave it whole and just place the chicken breast right on the top of the pasta that's completely fine uh, but i like to cut them about that thin so that that way it doesn't take as long for the chicken to uh cook i'm going to continue to slice these up and then when i come back we'll start to season them up and then we'll move on to the shrimp this is a very very quick recipe i'm just working with stuff that i already got in my house and like i said usually i like to make my alfredo from scratch but honestly i don't know what is going on and why every single time i go to the grocery store i can't find heavy whipping cream but it is what it is so we're just going to use the jarred stuff today and let's be honest the jarred stuff works just fine how they stop being bougie let's go all right, so I've transferred the chicken over to a bowl here. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of olive oil, maybe about a half a tablespoon. I'm gonna go in with the caramelized onion butter from Kinder's, just like so. If you don't have this, another good substitution would be the Montreal chicken seasoning. Um, I think it's made by Grill Mates or McCormick's. I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. I'm gonna go in with some crushed black pepper. Like so. A few dashes of cayenne pepper, parsley flakes, and then I'm gonna use some adobo red top. Be careful with this because this is really salty. And then give this a good mix around to make sure that everything is fully incorporated. I don't like to go too heavy handed with this when I'm making stuff with Alfredo because you just don't want it to be overpowering. And also Alfredo already is kind of salty to begin with. Okay. Got that nice and seasoned. Now we're gonna move over to seasoning up the shrimp. Y'all almost let me forget to put in the paprika. You gotta add paprika because that's gonna add some great color to this chicken. So add that in, mix it up. See, so yeah, this is this is what we wanted. We wanted some color to it. This is gonna get great color. While you have this mixing, by the way, go ahead and get your skillet um, started to get preheated. I have it over medium heat. Now the chicken is good to go. Now let's go do the shrimp. Now for the shrimp, I actually like to keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna do just a tinch of olive oil. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna use the pink Himalayan salt and I'm gonna use some of the uh, black pepper. I'm not gonna do too much of the salt, just a little bit. That's probably not even honestly a teaspoon worth. And I'm gonna load it up with black pepper. Now I have my skillet going. Also go ahead and get your pot of water starting to boil. As soon as that comes up to um, a raging boil, you wanna make sure that you salt your water. You want your water to be as salty as the sea. If not, your pasta is gonna come out completely bland don't nobody got time for that okay so now that i got this coated in some salt and pepper we are ready to start cooking everything off also make sure that you have cleaned your chicken first of all and also make sure that you have properly deveined and shelled your shrimp all righty here we go put in about a tablespoon or so of olive oil now we're going to go on ahead and add in that chicken and cook your chicken off Make sure that you start off with a big enough pan because you really want to do everything in the exact same pan except for the pasta so that we're building flavor. So all the drippings and all of that stuff are all going to end up in the same pan, which is the reason why I said you want to make sure that you're not overly salting your meat or the shrimp because then the whole dish is just going to be over salty. And for everybody that's about to say, well, T.Y., I can't have seafood, then idiot, don't put it in the damn recipe. Also, if you really want to get some good color on your chicken, don't go in and keep flipping it and flipping it and flipping it. Allow it to cook on one side to get some good coloring on it first, and then we'll go in and start tossing it around. I went on ahead and added a little bit of paprika and also some parsley to this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. See what I'm saying? I allowed it to go on one side. Look at that. My God on today. That's what you want, people. Allow it to get some color on one side before you start flipping it around. All right, I'm gonna let this cook off. This probably is gonna take no more than maybe 
four to five minutes total, to be quite honest. Once you can tell that your chicken is almost done, go on ahead and move it over to the side. We're keeping everything in the same pot, people. If you need to add a little bit more oil, go on ahead and do so, but don't get too overzealous with it. Now I'm gonna go on in and add in my shrimp. Yes, I want the juice and all of that, and now I'm gonna allow my shrimp to cook off. Same concept with the shrimp. Flatten them out, allow them to get color on one side, and then flip them around, and then we can go on ahead and mix everything in together. Now, in regards to the sun-dried tomatoes, although it already says that they're sliced, I like to take them out, put them on a separate thing, because first of all, I don't want all of that oil. But then I also like to go in with kitchen shears and just kind of cut them up a little bit smaller. To me, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't really want to add in too many of these. This is probably going to end up being maybe about two tablespoons worth or a little bit more. But this is, this is enough for me and my liking. If you want more, add in more. My shrimp are starting to turn pink, which is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to go on ahead and just mix everything together. These shrimp are going to continue to cook, so you don't have to worry about that. Look at the color. My God. I'm now going to go on ahead and add in those sun-dried tomatoes and mix that in as well. I'm now going to add in my spinach. If you don't like spinach, add in broccoli. If you don't add broccoli, don't add, add any vegetables at all. D do what you want. Now this might seem like a lot of spinach, but for those of you that cook, you know that this is about to wilt down to absolutely nothing. Now that the spinach has started to wilt down, I'm now gonna go in and add in two cans or two jars of the creamy basil Alfredo and one of the garlic Alfredo. Go on ahead and start mixing everything in. My God. Yes, baby. Yes, yes. And at this point, you can turn it over a low simmer. Now we're just going to allow all this to kind of gel together and just start to create flavor. We're boosting flavor at this point. Once this sauce heats through, you can then go in to taste it to see if you need any additional seasonings. And if you feel like the sun-dried tomato flavor isn't bursting through the way you want, you can always add more in or add in just a little bit of the sun-dried tomato oil. As you guys can see, I decided that I wanted the sun-dried tomato to kind of burst through a little bit more, so I added some more in. Now I'm gonna mix it all together. For the amount that I'm making, I went on ahead and added in the entire eight and a half ounce jar of the sun-dried tomatoes, but I did not add the oil, just the sun-dried tomatoes themselves. I'm now getting ready to add in my pasta. Mind you, I cooked this to al dente. For those of you that don't know what that means, it just means that the pasta pretty much still has a little bit of bite to it. You have to keep in mind, your sauce is still extremely hot, and your pasta is still pretty hot. So that means it's gonna already be naturally still cooking. And once you add to that, it's gonna cook even more. So if you overcook your pasta to begin with, then add it to the sauce, let it sit in that, then you're gonna end up with mush. So just keep that in mind. Air on the side of al dente, don't overcook it. Now we're gonna mix all of this all together. And for those of you that thought that it was too much sauce, as you can see, it was the perfect amount because I don't know about you, but I don't like no dry damn fettuccine Alfredo. And now I'm going to go in and just add a little bit of this. Again, you guys, that's the reason why I said be mindful of how much salt you're adding because the cheese, the Alfredo, all of that is already going to have a lot of salt. I add it in roughly about a half a cup. Now I'm going to mix this all together one more time and then I'm going to top it off with some more parsley. And then we're going to go in for our taste test. I'll be right back. And just like that, we have some delicious, okay, delicious sun-dried tomato, chicken and shrimp, fettuccine. Huh? Look at that. Baby, when I tell you this pan is bursting with flavor and I ain't even went in for the damn taste test yet. And no, this whole big ass pot is not for me. My boyfriend's gonna take some of this for dinner for the next couple of days, honey. We eat good around here. Let's go in for that taste test, shall we? Y'all see that? It's what we call good eating right here, baby. Don't play with me, play with your mother. Let's go on for a taste test, shall we? Let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Get me a piece of chicken, shrimp, pasta. Here we go. Baby! This good eating right here. Cause my God on today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 